Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Dear friends, greetings from Father Frank Ndisuza from the Diocese of Shimoga. Today I am going to share with you the word of God of March 17th, 5th Sunday of Lent. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I praise you, I glorify you, I thank you for bringing us together to reflect the word of God. Give us your Holy Spirit to understand what we read and to grasp in our lives so that we may witness your word through our lives. Let this word bring healing to each one of us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah chapter 31 verses 31 to 34. Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah, not like the covenant that I made with their fathers on the day when I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. My covenant that they broke, though I was their husband, declares the Lord. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, declares the Lord. I will put my law within them and I will write it on their hearts and I will be their God and they shall be my people. And no longer shall each one teach his neighbor and each his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me, from the least of them to the greatest, declares the Lord. For I will forgive their iniquity, and I will remember their sin no more. Psalm 51 Response is Create a pure heart for me, O God. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your merciful love, according to your great compassion. Blot out my transgressions, wash me completely from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. Create a pure heart for me, O God. Create a pure heart for me, O God. Renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence. Take not your Holy Spirit from me. Create a pure heart for me, O God. Restore in me the joy of your salvation. Sustain in me a willing spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways, that sinners may return to you. Create a pure heart for me, O God. A reading from the letter of Hebrews, chapter 5, verses 7 to 9. In the days of his flesh, Jesus offered up prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to him who was able to save him from death and he was heard because of his reverence. Although he was a son, he learned obedience through what he suffered and being made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation to all who obey him. Acclamation Glory and praise to you, O Christ. If anyone serves me, he must follow me, says the Lord. And where I am, there will my servant be also. Gospel according to John, chapter 12, verses 22-33. At that time, among those who went up to worship at the feast, were some Greeks. So these came to Philip, 
who was from Bethsaida in Galilee and asked him, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. And Jesus answered them, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Truly, truly, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it. And whoever hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. If anyone serves me, he must follow me. And where I am, there will my servant be also. If anyone serves me, the Father will honor him. Now is my soul troubled. And what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. But for this purpose, I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it and I will glorify it again. The crowd that stood there and heard it said that it had thundered. Others said, An angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, This voice has come for your sake, not mine. Now is the judgment of this world. Now will the ruler of this world be cast out. And I, when I am lifted up, from the earth will draw all people to myself. He said this to show by what kind of death he was going to die. We want to see Jesus. Sir, we should like to see Jesus. That must be our desire too. His word challenges us to practice the message he proclaims. Truly, truly, I say to you, unless a wheat grain falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. With these words, Jesus shares with us the secret to life. Life comes only through death. Do we still want to see Jesus? Do we still want to listen and respond to his message? Unless a wheat grain falls on the ground and dies, it remains only a single grain. But if it dies, it yields a rich harvest. There is neither life nor resurrection without death. To avoid death understood in this sense is to avoid life. In a measure, we are afraid to die. We are afraid to be fully alive. This dying does not mean walking away from life, but rather making space for God to enter into our life and render it more fruitful. We need to honestly examine ourselves and ask, what is it in me that like the grain of wheat must die if my life is to bear a rich harvest? What things, attitudes and choices do I need to let go of? To let in the fullness of life that Jesus wants to give me? From being self-centered, we become God-centered. And that is what the first reading invites us, Jeremiah 
to be god centered how by profound obedience to the will of god that is what we see in the responsorial psalm create a pure heart for me o god a heart that obeys you a heart that loves you a heart that walks in your way in the second reading also from the letter to the hebrews we have heard the same it is through obedience he learned how to be close to god and today jesus obeys the father and as we are coming to an end of our lenten uh, sundays and we enter next sunday into palm sunday then the holy week the whole episode leads to the passion of jesus passion of jesus is nothing but compassion of heavenly father towards us so we need to follow in obedience by surrendering ourselves and keeping trust in the word of god then we will also see jesus experience jesus we will share jesus heavenly father i praise you i thank you for your love towards us i thank you for revealing us your plans through jesus christ our savior we are here on earth we trust in you faith is your gift we believe in you and one day we also enter into that eternal life that you have given us through your son jesus as i proclaim the good news i pray in your name for my people especially those who are suffering those who are bedridden those who are struggling due to deadly diseases those who are on coma on ventilator or in icu micu hospitalized due to various reasons lord you are the lord who healed us your passion brings compassion to the humanity i pray those who are praying with me right now wherever they may be have mercy on them forgive their sins as you told the man near the pool of bethsaida for 38 years get up take your mat and walk let these people hear those same words in their lives too you also warn that person saying that see you have been made well do not commit sin any more in john chapter 1 chapter 5 verses 1 to 14 woman was in hemorrhages trusted in your merciful love she had that faith in that faith she touched you now those people are bedridden sick or struggling suffering give them the same grace to touch like that woman so that they may experience your healing touch people those who are jobless people those who are struggling in their companies people those who have no visas or problem of immigration have mercy on the people lord those who are struggling as this woman struggled but when she touched in faith may these people touch you in prayer in faith by reading the word of god by living according to the sacraments by obeying the commandments open their hearts and minds to understand your love for them your body was broken your blood was shed sprinkle your precious blood upon the blood cells snow bone and marrow of these children of yours have mercy on them also lord i pray 
those elderly people may be feeling lonely, empty, or no one is taking care of them. I also pray for those who are below poverty level, dying out of hunger, struggling. All the pains and sorrows of this world may vanish, especially those who are praying here, Lord. Have mercy on them. In Jesus' name, I claim this healing. I give this blessing. In the name of Jesus, be receive your healing. In the name of Jesus, receive your healing. Be healed. Amen. May Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father Franklin D'Souza, Rises of Shumoga. Dear friends, share this message with your social networks so that others may also experience the healing touch of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.